Hello and welcome to IT Army. Normally when you do the Windows installation, it results in creating the system partition and boot partition both sitting on the same physical hard disk. But in case if you add another hard disk and you do the Windows installation, you might get into the scenario where you have the system partition sitting on the old hard disk and the Windows partition or the boot partition sitting on the other. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this issue. So without further ado, let's get started. So if I right click the start button and go on to disk management from here, you can see that I have two hard disks. In the first hard disk, I had Windows 10 installed that resulted in creating the, the first 50 megabytes of partition. This is the system partition and that is the active partition. Second partition was the, the boot partition where your Windows 10 was installed. And if you have Windows 10 latest versions, 1909 or later then it creates a separate recovery partition so you have three partitions created so in case if you add one more hard disk and you do the installation of windows 10 it actually just creates a boot partition over here while system partition is still used of the old hard disk so in case in future if you want to remove this hard disk it might result in a non-bootable pc because it looks for the system partition as the first partition in your boot up process so what i'll be doing is i will be creating a separate system partition so that in future if you want to format it or remove this drive you won't have any boot up problem so for that what we need to do is we need to shrink this by right clicking and i say shrink volume And you can decide how much size you want to have so normally for this operating system the recovery partition was sitting over here around 500 megabytes you need and for the second hard disk second operating system you install the recovery partition is sitting within this partition so in case if you have BitLocker encryption enabled you won't be able to boot into the recovery environment so the best practice is to have a separate recovery environment created so it's your choice if you just want to have a boot partition you can shrink by 50 megabytes and if you want to also have the recovery partition you can make it around 500 megabytes and updates by updates it keeps on increasing so to be on the safer side i will be creating a partition of one gigabyte so 1024 megabytes and click on ok and now we have created uh, an allocated space so I can right click and create a simple volume here so click on next 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 finish so now we have created a volume so I need to create uh, mark this partition as active and then create the boot configuration database and then copy the recovery environment here so let's first of all address the issue of making it active you can do it from GUI by right clicking this partition and you say mark this partition as active so whenever you boot up it will look up in this case in this partition second thing you need to make sure is that whenever you are booting up your operating system this is the first disk that has the active partition if the machine finds any other hard disk that has active partition it will try to boot up from there so you need to make this inactive so from GUI we cannot do because we are currently booted up from this partition we can do it from the command line so let's do it from the command line so type in CMD and run it as administrator so let's first of all create the boot configuration database over here create the recovery environment and then we will be inactivating this partition so for that we have bcd boot command line utility this bcd boot can be used for creating the boot configuration entry so what i need to mention over here in the boot configuration database let's make the font bigger so i need to specify bcd boot and c colon slash windows where your active windows is forward slash s and then you need to specify where what partition is going to be your system partition in my case it is drive letter f so i can say f colon and enter so it's going to create a new boot configuration database now if i go to f drive and i do dir bcd 
slash s slash a for showing all files and you can see that it has created the boot configuration database so this is how we can create the boot configuration database and now if I boot I will be able to boot up from there but now I need to deactivate this and to make this partition as the recovery partition you need to disable and re-enable the recovery agent but for that this should have a particular ID by default every MBR volumes they have partition ID 7 you need to set it as 27 so let's go to command time utility disk part and from here what we will be using is selecting this disk selecting this partition and deactivate it so if you are not familiar with the what commands you have over here if I press question mark and press enter key you get the complete list or you can also use the help command for that so I want to see the list of hard disks so I can say list disk or in short you can say list disk now I can see the list of disk I want to select the first hard disk so select disk zero or in short cell this zero and now I want to see the list of partitions so I can say list partition and here you can see we have the first 50 megabytes of partition that is my system partition I need to select that cell partition one and that partition got selected now if I do list partition now you can see that the partition I'm working on is this one 50 megabytes and I say inactivate or in short INA and this is no more an active partition now second thing that I want to do is I need to go to the second disk disk 1 and mark this the ID of that partition we have to set it to 27 so select disk 1 select partition 2 and now to ensure I can sell this partition you can see that I have selected that second 1 gig partition we have a star appearing here and now what I need to do is if I do a DETPAR to show the details of that partition so you can see that this is an active partition and the type is set to 7 I need to set it to 27 so set ID equals to 27 that is in hexadecimal number system that is press enter key now and you can use override okay so this is done so this is no more an active partition next time when you reboot you'll be booting from here and then you will be able to delete it if you need it because it's just very small partition 50 megabytes but if it is like 500 megabytes and you need that space you can use any third party utility to extend backwards so now this is active and we need to boot from this partition so currently my recovery partition is sitting over here so if I go on over here uh, from the command line utility also I can show you if I exit out of here and do clear screen and I say reagent C space forward slash info and you can see that the recovery environment is sitting in disk 1 partition 1 that is C drive recovery windows RE folder so let's exit out of here and restart using this active partition so right click sign out and restart okay so now if I go to the disk management by right clicking and pressing K for disk management and you can see now this one is active and this is not active if you want you can delete that partition delete volume yeah but you won't be able to extend backwards you need to use some third-party utility for that uh, we don't want to convert it to dynamic disk so click cancel you can use third-party utility without converting to dynamic disk okay now the next task that we want to do is we want to move our recovery partition recovery environment from this partition to over here so again we'll be using the command line utility so open command prompt run as administrator and run 
reagent C info you're gonna see it is disabled here so we need to run enable so it's gonna move your recovery environment from C recovery Windows RE to C Windows system 32 recovery folder and again run enable so it's gonna copy that recovery file recovery vim file over here so enable again and now it's done now if i do reagent c forward slash info now you can see that your recovery environment is sitting in disk one partition number two so this partition is being used now so that's how we can move the the system partition from one hard disk to other hard disk and hope you like this video if you have any other question or comments please post in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video